I would love to show you a, a few examples of how this integration works and what you can expect to see. So in order to do that, I'm going to go into our shop boss account up here and I'm going to test out the first of these integrations that we have. And the first of these integrations is the uh, repair order and part sale sync. And I'll, I'll, I'll do this. Uh, I'll show this to you using a repair order. So what we've got here are a couple of repair orders in our shop boss account. Uh, so I see here, here's a $500 repair order. We've got some line items for brake fluid, uh, for labor. And I want to go ahead and send this over to QuickBooks so that it automatically generates an invoice out of this repair order. Well, the way we do that, it's incredibly simple. We go up here and we just go ahead and close um, the RO. And this is the trigger for API Nation to do our work. So if we go back to API Nation and we click on the repair orders and part sales, we'll see that the workflow has already started running itself. It's processing now. It usually will take about 30 to 60 seconds to fully process. Uh, but what's really great about the API Nation log page, when you go in and see the details about these workflows is you can uh, click on the logs and get expanded information about what's going on as the sync is running. And so, and you may have noticed that, that these syncs, they, they run instantly based on shop boss. Uh, right, so we finalized, we closed that repair order in Shop Boss. I came back to API Nation within a minute, and this was already processing. Uh, the The data was already flowing through to QuickBooks. Now we've also got that schedule on the QuickBooks side. If you recall, when we went into the Web Connector and we set up that 60 minute auto run, this is also something that we're going to need to run in order to see these changes come through. So. While it was instant on the API Nation and Shop Boss side, if we were just going about our day and we weren't managing this, it would be 60 minutes at most before we see all of this information coming through to QuickBooks. And perfect, so we've got our success right there. Um, and although I was just saying, you know, it would take 60 minutes to wait on this and to see it come through, we can always select the application with the checkbox and click update selected to have the sync run itself immediately. So now we can see that QuickBooks is catching up on all the data that was just sent its way. It's processing this new invoice coming through um, and it looks like the web connector is done. So now we can go into our invoices here. And if we back up to see the most recently created invoice, we've got here, um, this $500 RO and that was RO10067. So let's go ahead and check on that. And so you can see here that we've got this invoice here coming through from Shop Boss. And when we open up QuickBooks, got that same invoice for that brake fluid for the labor for our sales tax all coming through here. And it looks like some of our developers were messing around with our settings. So it looks like our taxes are on here, but uh, you'll see your taxes will be um, off. So if we change this status to non-taxable, then we'll see that that status comes through to uh, 501.25, just like we saw in that repair order, that 501.25. And all your information is available in this invoice now for your bookkeeping and accounting team. Now let's say we've got uh, some payments that we want to make. We've got this invoice in here already. So let's go ahead and reopen this invoice. Oh, it looks like I don't even have to reopen it. So now I just want to come onto this invoice and, and process a payment. Let's say we've got a payment here against this invoice for uh, $25. Well, you know, I think I'll have to reopen this RO. So take this RO number. We'll reopen the RO. Now we've got it open again. Go ahead and add a new payment. There we go. And let's say we've got a payment coming through for $25. 
I'll save that. And this is something that we'll see come through in the payments integration. So we've got our workflow card here that says Sync Shop Boss Payments. I'll click on that. And it's already running, doing that same thing that we were talking about before. And the trigger here is really any payment at all. So if you make a payment from the RO page, if you make a payment from your, I believe it's the AR page, you'll be able to see um, really anywhere that payments are applied, that those payments are going to come through for the ROs that they apply to. And so if we're back in API Nation, we'll, we'll see how long this takes for a success. Um, again, usually just about a minute is all it takes for these things to run through. We've got a success there already. And so when I go back to QuickBooks now, once again, we'll look to run the web connector or we could have waited these 60 minutes for the web connector to run itself and for these payments to have come through. And we see that was successful. So if I open up our received payments and I go back in time a little bit, we'll see there's a brand new $25 payment for RO number 10067 coming through for our customer Martin right there. And, uh, and that synced through just great. And so these are really the two main features that we've got in this integration right here. We've got those uh, repair orders as well as those part sales working in the exact same way. As soon as those are closed, you'll see that information sync on over to QuickBooks. And with those payments, as soon as they are received, you'll see those come through for the RO and for the customer that they apply to. Great, uh, thanks for sticking with me here for this, this demo. I appreciate your time and I really hope you enjoy your time with our sync. Uh, so thank you guys. And remember, if you ever need any help, please reach out to us at support at We love doing this stuff. We're always here to help. 